What do you need for a roller skating trip with your friends? Here are five things that will help you plan your skate trip. Hey, skate people! Stick around! If you do, we'll tell you uh, a few apps that we used while traveling in Barcelona. And it was so helpful. How helpful was it? Super helpful. Super helpful. Barcelona. I'm Payne from Adam Quad. And I'm Snooky from Adam Quad also. Oh my god, it's crazy. If you like what you see here, please press that like button and subscribe to this channel to see some more. Hit all the things. Yeah. Ooh. But wait, finish this one first. Yes, yes, this one first, please, yeah. please. Like any other trip in this life, a skate trip can be extremely overwhelming if you don't have the right tools. From knowing what to pack, where to go, who to go with, and what to learn, there's a lot of research you have to do. We learned it the hard way. We went to RollerCon. In Las Vegas. We went to Skate Bar, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Skate Love Barcelona, Barcelona! We got to travel so much into all these amazing places. We want to help you today. First thing you need to do is research. When we were in Barcelona, we met some amazing skating friends, brand new of course. And the one thing that made us super jealous was the fact that they were staying in a hostel with a skate park inside and we were like what we're paying so much sand skate park but you get to skate and sleep in yeah. the same place so that's why do your research research is so important research 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 we're researching shops skate rinks parks derby leagues derby leagues and skaters local skaters yeah. this will help us plan our itinerary so that we hit all these different places all in the same trip and then we can even travel around the different cities, right? So you don't just have to stay in that one city, go to the outskirts, go to the heart of it, like whatever. Yeah, it's and it'll really help you decide where you want your accommodation because if you see yourself in mainly one area, then mm -hmm. obviously have your accommodation close to that. Mm -hmm. Save time on traveling. Number two, what to pack. It's important to know what you're going to be doing, where you will be going, how long you're going to be skating, and maybe how your body reacts to you skating for six to eight hours a day. Sweat towels. Well, that's my number one is a sweat towel. And then roller skates. A lot of socks. <laughs> t shirts, extra, extra, extra t shirts. Aftercare. Yes. And the reason behind this is like a skating trip, you want to get every single moment. You want to skate as much as you can. So, of course, all of these random stuff is going to happen. A lot of blisters, possibly some heat patches, electrolytes is good, mm -hmm. and definitely some aspirin. This is so important. When we went to Barcelona and we were street skating, there was like a train or tram track that ran across the street. And I was feeling very confident that day and I'm like, yeah, I got this. Smash! I fell down busted my knee so hard because I wasn't wearing the right protective gear. So then we had to go to a pharmacy and find the right bandages and like a bunch of patches and I stuff pack. like that. Yeah, just because I didn't pack the right aftercare. Number three, connecting with other skaters while you're traveling. We definitely looked up a bunch of skaters that we know are going to be in the area. <coughs> it's Regen. <laughs> a party! <laughs> Um, and what? Mostly we use social media, so like Instagram to kind of reach out to all of these different skaters, letting them know that we're going to be in that area. And we totally expect the same from them if they were to travel to Hong Kong one day. <laughs> and then that led to us meeting up with them for dinner and we were skating through the Gothic region of Barcelona. It was amazing. Definitely went to places and skated in places we would never have gone to before. Felt too intimidated. Yeah, skate, for with sure. With them at our side, it was awesome because they were experienced and so friendly. So we could right. totally just go for it. Be confident, reach out and be polite. Number four, challenge yourself. So we had this amazing challenge where we were not allowed to take our roller skates off for like five days. And if you did, you had to walk around either in your socks, which my mom would not be happy, or bare feet, which, you know, the public wasn't very happy because they're like, ew, gross. Nor was our feet. Yeah, our feet weren't too happy. Yeah. So you just kept your skates on. <laughs> that was a much better option. So it's very good to challenge yourself while you're on trips. Just so that you can really get the most out of it too. You're not just going to go there to not improve your skills. Yeah. Like you want to get better. That's also how I got over stairs. 
climbing a lot of stairs in your Up stairs. Up and down. Ooh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a big one. Number five. Have a plan on documenting your trip. Yes, it's very important because there was lots of things that we missed. Yeah, I could show you guys that we went skating with all of these amazing idols, but unfortunately I was just living in the moment. <laughs> didn't have a camera. I mean, sometimes no. mental pictures are good, but it, you do need to plan ahead, charge your batteries, think about how long you're going to be skating, what you're going to be doing. And you don't want a bulky, bulky camera or anything with you. So the smaller, the better, but a lot of battery, a lot of battery. SD cards, mm. empty those, delete yes. those. That's right. But Get plan ahead, that's what's important. For all the new memories. Oh, that's very sweet. Geluk! Kom heel weer! Congratulations! Congratulations. <laughs> you, you made, made it. it! Finally, we can share with you our favorite app that we use for skating. And it's called Crack. K-R-A-K. So we learned about this app in Barcelona and it was amazing. It shows you a bunch of locations around the area that you're traveling in or Not whatever you want to skate. Not just the typical park spots or rinks as well. Yeah, so it'll show like flat, like big expansions of flat ground, maybe some stairs you can jump. Hidden spots. All of the non-official places are on crack, so you should definitely be looking out for security guards if you go to a lot of these places. And it works two ways, so you can also post stuff on there if you find anything good that's yeah. not on there. Mm -hmm. Do some research, public service. Thank you very much. Yeah, and definitely let us know about all the security guards that we need to look out for yes. if we go to a bunch yes. of you know random skate spots around yeah. the city. <laughs> the potholes and the potheads. No. We've made it to the end. <laughs> yes, we have. And it's not been easy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Aww. What do we want to tell them about the comments? Make some. Do it. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Subscribe or not. Sure. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Do it. <laughs> <laughs>